హలో నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ పూజా ఫిజియో సో టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఆస్టియో ఆర్థ్రైటిస్ ఆఫ్ నీ జాయింట్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో యూ క్యాన్ నో వాట్ ఈస్ ఆస్టియో ఆర్థ్రైటిస్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద క్లినికల్ ఫీచర్స్ దట్ ఆర్ ప్రెజెంట్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఎక్సర్సైజెస్ దట్ యూ క్యాన్ డూ ఇన్ హోమ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఆస్టియో ఆర్థ్రైటిస్ ఆఫ్ నీ జాయింట్ నీ ఆస్టియో ఆర్థ్రైటిస్ ఆల్సో నోన్ యాజ్ డీజనరేటివ్ జాయింట్ డిసీజ్ and is typically the result of wear and tear and progressive loss of articular cartilage so it is commonly seen in elderly people and divided into two types primary osteoarthritis and secondary osteoarthritis primary osteoarthritis is articular degeneration without an apparent underlying cause primary osteoarthritis is typically due to degeneration due to age as well as wear and tear of the joint capsule secondary osteoarthritis is the consequence of either an abnormal concentration of forces across the joint as with post traumatic causes or abnormal articular cartilage secondary osteoarthritis is a result of articular cartilage degeneration due to known reason like example like obesity joint hypermobility or instability malpositioning of the joint example valgus or varus then posture any abnormal postures or previous injuries to the joint like fractures any congenital defects and immobilization and loss of mobility and due to any family history of osteoarthritis and metabolic causes like rickets etc clinical presentation of osteoarthritis are pain upon movement stiffness particularly early morning stiffness loss of range of movement pain after prolonged sitting or lying pain on joint line palpation and joint enlargement decrease in abilities of aerial function that is aerial activities and difficulty weight bearing on the affected leg the process of osteoarthritis affects the articular cartilage that covers the articular surface of the bone disruption in the equilibrium which results in disorganized pattern of collagen and loss of articular cartilage elasticity so this results in cracking of articular cartilage which leads to exhaustion of articular surface so collagen that has been damaged cannot be recovered the cartilage will continue to wear away the bony surfaces will start to be affected and bone will expand and spurs will develop now coming for investigation and how to diagnose osteoarthritis it is confirmed by x-ray in x-ray we can see joint space reducing and osteophyte formation and many more Diagnosis of osteoarthritis of knee can be subdivided into five grades. Grade 0, this is a normal healthy knee and grade 1, very minor bones per growth and it is experienced by pain and discomfort. And grade 2, people will experience symptoms for the first time. Grade 3, moderate osteoarthritis, frequent pain during movement. joint stiffness will also be more especially after sitting for long period and in the morning timings so grade 4 most severe stage of osteoarthritis joint space between the bones will be reduced the cartilage will almost be completely gone and the synovial fluid will be decreased treatment of osteoarthritis include physiotherapy and physiotherapy includes patient education exercise therapy activity modification and advice on weight loss if the patient is obese and knee bracing that is knee support the patients are educated about what is osteoarthritis and what are the complications of osteoarthritis and what are the treatments that can be done uh, to cure osteoarthritis is explained to the patient even the patient is explained about how the exercise work to treat osteoarthritis the brace or knee supports are used for offloading of the weight on the joint 
the physiotherapy treatment includes electrotherapy and exercise therapy so coming to electrotherapy this includes application of currents to reduce the pain on the joint exercise therapy or home exercises include knee isometrics and knee flexion and extension exercise in supine lying position and straight leg raise in supine lying position and side straight leg raise in side lying position with one knee bent and back straight leg raise in prone position right leg raise in sitting position with one knee bent knee to chest with the knee bent and knee flexion and extension in standing position weight bearing position and wall squats where the weight is more on wall and chair squats it is a supported squats where there is incomplete squatting and the complete squatting where the patient does the complete squatting front lunges where the patient moves forward and side lunges where the patient moves sideways exercise therapy is used to increase muscle strength increase range of motion and decrease pain the last one is walking where the patient has to walk at least 10 to 20 times per day all the exercises prescribed above should be done 10 repetitions set of 2 and 2 sessions per day thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe and do comment